In other news, though, now at 546, public schools all across the country are trying to keep up with the flood of new migrants. Some Denver public school teachers are stretched thin. Fox News multimedia reporter Kennedy Hayes is live in Denver tonight. And Kennedy, how many new students are there? Well, Anthony and Caroline, Denver Public Schools tells me they're welcoming at least 200 new students a week. And one teacher says over the last five years, her class size has more than doubled. A lot of our kids that we're getting are migrant students are fleeing Venezuela, I believe. So they have had a lot of interrupted schooling or have never gone to school. And in kindergarten, I'm getting students that have never like held a pencil, don't know how to write from left to right. Denver Public Schools says they have admitted around 3,000 migrant students since the school year began. Most of those kids speak Spanish and come from Venezuela or other countries in Central and South America. Some schools are running low on supplies and are asking for donations. DPS says they expect more migrant students to enroll and they will continue to make space. Is it stretching our system in unprecedented ways? Absolutely. And um, the reason we're here is to design a system to meet their needs. So we are committed to doing that um, and not having us stay in a crisis state. New York City, Chicago, and Denver Public Schools say they're also all working on expanding their English as a second language programs to help their new students adjust, but they do say they all need more resources and or funding. In Denver, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 26 News.